All right, Shalom. Back again with another video, giving all praises, our glory, our honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Akar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Peace and best to the whole for elect. I'm trying to make this quick. This is another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And this is from The Hill, thehill.com. And it says, if Israel strikes Iran over its nuclear program, the U.S. must have its back. And this lines up directly with Bible prophecy. And I'm going to read a few paragraphs of this and then get a scripture. Uh, because we're at the point to where these, these, these scriptures, these prophecies are going to start taking place quickly all right the karagma you know dealing with the uh the brain c hip and people buying and selling with their hands with the c hip in their hand um, along with the uh coming threat of the war of armageddon and this is going to lead right into it all right so it says the Biden administration should learn from its un unpreparedness for the russia ukraine war and begin to prepare for a major Israel-Iran conflict. The administration needs to set aside its differences with the Israeli government, overcome its aversion to conflict with Iran, and begin to work closely with Jerusalem to prepare for the growing likelihood that Israel will feel it has no choice but to initiate a military campaign against Iran's nuclear program. So we're, we're seeing the beginning stages of major prophecy come to pass, man. Okay? It says, In no daylight, a new report from the, from the, the, the J-I-N-S-A, all right, where one of us is president and CEO, and the other is a distinguished fellow, and other retired senior military officers and national security experts explain that whatever differences the U.S. might now have with Israel over Iran policy, our two countries' interests will be aligned after an Israeli strike. Consequently, in preparing its response, the U.S. guiding principle should be no daylight with Israel to ensure Israeli military success, mitigate Iranian retaliation, and limit the scope of the conflict vital interest for both countries and we know that that the state of israel and the united states are very close allies okay it says if israel is compelled to act due to a failure in u.s policy and deterrence the extent of u.s backing will directly impact iranian action the more the iranian regime perceives strong u.s support for israel and believe it risks direct confrontation with america's unmatched military power the likelier that it will limit its response okay now i'm gonna jump down okay um it says the biden administration and congress must act now to signal U.S. support for Israel. This includes amplifying recent assertions by Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan that the United States supports Israel's freedom of action. Further, the U.S. should publicly, publicly reassert its automatic support for Israel in any conflict between Israel and Iran, including proxies like Hezbollah and Hamas. So, this is pretty much what they're saying is that if Israel wants to strike Iran for their nuclear proliferation and their their different um, you know programs to get these missiles and ICBMs and things, then the U.S. will have to to back them up, and they have been at odds over the last few years. Especially now that you got them protests and things over there, over there uh, with the BB, okay? But per the prophecies of the scriptures, this has to happen, okay? This has to happen, all right? This here has to happen, all right? The U.S. has to have... Uh, 
they're back over there. All right. In the state of Israel, if they strike Iran. And I'm going to show you. So now let's go to the scriptures. Let's go to the prophecies. All right. And let's see if I can. Let me see. Jeremiah 51. Is it 46? Let's see here. Uh, now this is dealing with Babylon. But it's actually in two places. Let me get this. Because the scripture says that the least of the flock. Now the flock is talking about the Edomites. Okay. Yep. Okay. It's Jeremiah 50, 45. Okay. The Edomites. All right. Let's get this in Jeremiah 49 and 20. It says, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh. So this is all the counsel. It's all the plans and purposes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says that he had taken against Edom. Okay. And his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. So this is dealing with the Edomites' judgment. All right. Even the people over there uh, in Jerusalem today. Okay. They're Edomites. And it says, surely the least of the flock. So surely the least of the people of Edom shall draw them out. Draw who out? Draw out the other Edomites into war, starting with America. Okay? Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. So if, if, if that strike on Iran ha happens, not only is it going to draw out America into a war, it's going to draw Russia, which are also Edomites, into the war to back up Iran. All right. So now you got the war of Armageddon, man. And that's the main, this, this, this news here that I just read from the Hill. This is the main prophecy we're looking for. A lot of the other, the other news is good, but this is what we're looking for. Okay. And when that happens, not only is, now we talk about America being totally destroyed, but, but that land over there, uh, the state of Israel, that will be too. But it's going to be brought back from the destruction, from the sword, as the scriptures say. Um, it's going to be brought back to be rebeautified again because that's the land of us Israelites. Now I'm going to read the 45th, uh, Jeremiah 50 and 45, because cause he, he repeats the same thing. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh, that he had taken against Babylon. So now he's making an even more clear point. He's talking about Babylon. We're just talking about uh, America, Babylon the Great. And his purpose is that he had purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. So America is going to have to back up this strike. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So that's going to cause a whole thing, conflict, war, uh, when this takes place in this Bible prophecy. But uh, with that, I'm going to end it here. All uh, praises to go to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.